Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in computer organization and architecture. We are going to see operational concepts of the computer. Okay, last class we have seen what is the functional units of computer and we have explained what are the different functional units. And today we are going to see about basic structure of computer that is basic operational concepts of the computer. Right. And we will see about the different registers and as well as the interrupts as well. Okay. And we'll start with the uh, basic operational concepts. Okay. And before going to this basic operational concepts, I will uh, refresh once again that how the execution is happening. Right. In last class, I explained uh, how the normal execution takes place. And this is the... Let's say this is a processor. And this is memory. Memory will have all the list of instructions that is being to be executed and the data and we have already seen how the memory uh, data should be stored in the memory. Correct. Right. And uh, computer is an electronic uh, device which performs all the operation based upon the instructions which are stored in the memory. Right. Now, processor, the processor is the one which performs all the operation but in order to do a pro pro process that particular information, what it has to do is it has to first fetch the instruction from the memory, right? So, uh, the instruction will be originally in the memory, right? right. Now, only from the memory, it has to get the information, right? So, in order to execute the instruction, first the instruction is fetched to the processor. Step by step, the execution will be happening, right? That is, you can see here that this instruction, first instruction will be uh, fetched to the processor, right, fetched from the memory by the processor and now after while executing this particular instruction, right, if it needs any particular data, that particular data is also collected from the memory, correct, right, and similarly, after doing all the process, if the result has to be stored in the memory, it will be sent to the memory right. from the processor, correct, this is the basic operation. Okay, and you can see this, consider this as an uh, instruction. This is the one individual instruction. Okay, so this instruction, what does this instruction does is, it's add, it, it, it add the operand in this particular location with the operand in this particular location, right? Right, so in this particular location, there is the operand, in the, in the particular R0, there is operand kuda, add for no, add panita, it will save the information in R0. Right, this is the, Operation of this particular instruction, right? While executing this particular instruction, this is the normal operation is done, correct? So, but how this instruction will be executed? First step, what it will do is it will fetch this particular instruction, the complete instruction, the processor, get that instruction from the memory, right? And then what it will do is then it will fetch the instruction, fetch this information that is data, right? Location A, I'll require an operator fetch for no, right? And then what it will do is it will add this particular location operand and this location operand, right? And then what it will do is it will store the result in R0. Then you add it and the result to R0 to store it. And you can you ought to see here the the information in this particular location is preserved, right? But the information in the R0 will be overwritten because the result is under the store pundra, right? And this particular instruction, if in the instruction at the beginning, it is a single instruction which combines arithmetic operation and as well as the uh, memory processing operation, right? That is, and the fetching fetching operation is done, right? And as well as addition operation is done, right? Uh, but there are a lot of sophisticated computers right now to improve the performance. We have separate instructions, like you can see here. In the instruction, the current area will be here. Can you see it? This is load C O A R one and then add R one R one. First, what it will do is it will fetch this instruction and then the information in this particular operand, that is uh, the operand in this particular location, it will be saved in R1. Right. And then R1, R1 will be data, R0 will be data, add for no. Right. Add and then the result is saved in R0. Right. And if you look at this instruction as well, the registers R1, R0. The content in the registers will be overwritten, right? If you look at this, you will store the data here. You will store the data here. If you store the data here, you will store the location in the location. 
ஆப்பரேட் இருந்துச்சோ அதை நம்ம சேவ் பண்றோம் அண்ட் சிம்பிளாலி ஆப்டர் ப்ராசஸிங் தி ரிசல்ட் எங்க ஸ்டோர் பண்றோம்னா ஆர் நாட் அப்ப ஆர் நாட் லேட் ரே இன்ஃபர்மேஷனை எரேஸ் பண்ணிட்டு ரிசல்ட் ஸ்டோர் பண்றோம் சரியா பட் திஸ் பர்టిక్యులர் லொகேஷன் இந்த பர்టిక్యులர் லொகேஷன்ல இருக்கிற இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் என்ன இருக்கும் அப்படினா இட் இஸ் ப்ரிசர்வ்ட் ஓகே சோ திஸ் இஸ் நவ் தி நார்மல் பேசிக் ஆபரேஷன் பேசிக் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் இப்டி தான் எக்ஸிக்யூட் ஆகும் ரைட்டா அண்ட் டு மேக் இட் வெரி கிளியர் யூ ஆர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் ஆர் தி டிஃபரண்ட் ரெஜிஸ்டர்ஸ் இன்வால்வ் ரைட் as i said the processor is the one which performs all the inspection it fetches the inspection from the memory the processor will have lot of registers right that is you can see here it has lot of registers general purpose registers right and also very importantly it has instruction register program counter and then this is another register mar memory address register and this is memory data register right and apart from that it has control unit and the alu unit okay now we want to understand what is instruction register right instruction register na enna appdi paathinga appadina it holds the information it holds the current instruction if any instruction execute panitirukke processor and the information na vachirukku yaar na ir right and program counter na enna appdi paathinga appadina it will have the instruction which is executed next right next instruction adutha instruction enna execute panna podu processor and the information vachirukku yaar na pc right and it is called as program counter because each and every time இங்க இருக்கிற இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஐஆர் வந்துருச்சுனாவே அடுத்து ஒரு இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் புரோகிராம் கவுண்டருக்கு போயிரும் ரைட் எக்ஸாம்பிளாலி இட் இன்க்ரிமென்ட்ஸ் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ரைட் 1 பை 1 இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் என்ன நெக்ஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் என்ன அப்டேட் பண்ணிட்டே இருக்கும் ரைட்டா அண்ட் எம்ஏஆர் சதிக்க பட் மெமரி அட்ரஸ் ரெஜிஸ்டர் விச் will have the address of memory location right so எல்லா வேர்ட்ஸும் எங்கலாம் வந்து அதோட அட்ரஸ் என்ன அப்டேட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் எம்ஏஆர் ல இருக்கும் அண்ட் மெமரி தேர் இஸ் समथिंग कॉल्ड மெமரி டேட்டா ரெஜிஸ்டர் which has the data needed for that particular information right so you can see here mar memory address register memory uh, data register right so the data transfer main memory ku processor ku data transfer pandrathu main ah yaar pannuva appdi paathinga appadina indha mar um mpr um because mar holds the address and mpr holds the data as i said and uh, and ir is nothing but holds the current instruction right and uh, pc is points of the next instruction eduthu enna panna porom appdi solrudhu and then uh, registers normal general purpose registers edha use pannom appadina immediately or data store pandrathukku data or data hold panni vechikkaradhukku or sets save pandrathukku idukellame vandu general purpose registers use pannalam right so this is the basic operation now i'll, I'll explain the the complete operation ipo vandu ungalku registers la enna theriyum and the processor vandu eppadi memory la irundhu instructions ah vaangradhu theriyum right but eppadi the processor kuda involve aayi அந்த ஆபரேஷன் நடக்குது அப்படி பாத்தீங்க அப்படினா ரைட் நவ் फर्स्ट திங் இஸ் இந்த புரோகிராம் as i said program is a list of instructions correct program is a list of instructions so listen to the class very carefully this is very very important question by understanding this particular concept in the operation தெரிஞ்சா நீங்க டயகிராம் வச்சு நீங்க எழுதிடலாம் ரைட் சோ புரோகிராம் is a list of instructions correct so program is a list of instructions so this particular instructions right it will be saved in the memory and processor what it will do is it will fetch this instructions one by one and it will execute it correct right now the instruction and the execution of instruction to start pandra yaar appadina pc whenever the pc fetch the instruction the first instruction then the processor will start and the operation okay so the pc the first instruction execute pandrathu start pannudhu okay and as soon as it starts or particular instruction right and on this memory add something add r dot r1 the instruction sir uh, starts set pannudhu pc set pannudhu appdi paathina what it will do is it will send that instruction to the mar memory address register right now memory address register what it will do is it will send this particular address right it has the address right and the memory location ode address theriya and instruction ode and the instruction execute panna pode right adoda address enna right adha and the word and instruction enga irukke adha location enga apdi information is given to the memory and it initiates the read cycle it initiates the read cycle right because only the data comes to the mdr it can be given to the processor right so ipo paathinga appadina and instruction enna panna appadi paathinga appadina It, it is it is sent to the memory mar what it will do is it will send the instruction to the memory right it will initiate the read cycle 
Now, after executing the read cycle, that particular instruction will be sent to the, that is fetched to the MDR, right? That is after the end of the read cycle, right? And now MDR, what do you do? We will check it out and then at the corresponding location, the information is MAR is sent to the MDR through the read cycle. Now, what is MDR? It will send that particular instruction to IR. I already said what is IR. IR is sent to the MDR. It will execute the current instruction. Now, what is MDR? It will send that particular instruction to the MDR. Now, once it reaches that particular information, what it will do is, it will send that particular information. Once it reaches that particular information, what it will do is, it will execute that particular instruction. Now, when the instruction comes to the MDR, it will execute it. Correct, right, you understand, right? Very simple. That is, PC first start and then on the particular address location or the instruction, MDR can transfer. So, MAR what it will do is it will initiate the read cycle and that particular information is given to the MDR and MDR it sends the information to IR. Right, now, understand, if in the instruction there is add information, right? So, if MDR end up on the update button, data is received, not only instruction but the data, R0, R1 is the data. Then, what is the end up on the once again, it will send the information in the R0, in the location or the information that they have, it will send that information to the MAR, right? And the particular address location that they have, information that they have, that means only send for the day. Once again, MAR, what it will do is, it will initiate the read cycle and that particular data is given to MDR, right? And then MDR will send that particular information, okay? Now, if it needs, if it needs, if you have an arithmetic and logic operation is needed, right? And if you have a logic operation, you can use the ALU to get the data. Right? So, if you collect the R0, R1 information, what the MDR will do is, it will send that particular information to ALU. Correct? ALU, it will perform that particular operation. All the operation will send the result to the MDR. MDR will send the result to the MDR. Right? Now, understand. Result of the MDR. If you have a processor, the immediate I use Punan Abdina, it can be given to the output device. It can be given to the output device, right? And if you want to store the information, as I said before, add R1, R0 Abdina, and this will end up on R0 plus store Punan Abdina, right? Apo, if MDR la vandhi, input output device kitte vana, the immediate use na data kurutan la. If you want to save it to the memory, once again, what it will do is, MDR, it will send the result. Adi end the result, right? Address location, R0 today, address location, eh? MAR to send for no, here it initiates the writing process, that is write cycle, right? So that information is sent to the MAR, it is initiating the write cycle, and end of the write cycle, the result will be stored in the corresponding location, right? So this is the normal operation. If you want to see the vision, you can see the steps, right? You can see that, first point is, PC sets the first instruction, and then from PC it is transferred to MAR, Right, MAR is the end of the day, and the location is the first instruction that is read to the memory. Right, MDR is the send for no. Right, that is MAR on the memory send for the memory in the MDR for no. Right, now MDR will send to the IR. Right, this is the normal steps. Okay, so IR execute for no, the ALU unit never put it. Right, and as well as on the data never put it. Now, once again, what MAR will do is, MAR will get the information from so, MDR will get the information from MAR by initiating the read cycle, right? And then, MDR will get the data ALU phone, so you can get it. Right, ALU will get the data ALU phone, so you can get it. And the result is sent to the MDR. Right, ALU will get the result to the MDR phone, so you can get it. Right, and then, MDR will get the data ALU phone, so you can get it. If you want to store it to the memory, what it will do is, it will send the address location and the result to the MAR by initiating the write cycle. Right, so this is the normal operation. This is the normal operation. Right, MAR will send the memory to the MDR and then IR will send out. Right, and then ALU will send the information to the MDR and then ALU will send the memory to the MDR. ALU will send the memory to the MDR and then ALU will send the memory to the MDR. Right, and MDR will send the memory to the MDR. It has to write that particular data, so it will initiate the write cycle. If you want to write cycle, the result will send the result to the address location to the MDR and then ALU will send the memory to the MDR and then ALU. Right? So, this is the normal execution. Okay? And at the time, right? If the process is already there, the instruction is already there, the RT instruction will be loaded in PC. Right? Because each and every instruction is incremented in PC. Right? Like that, each and every instruction is carried out, is processed. Right? And if there is any interrupt, interrupt, any immediate 
or any interim information has to be given. For example, a uh, lot of automated uh, computer services available right now, right? For industry monitoring, there are many automation like that. Otherwise, for example, normal operation are there. If there is a monitoring device, on the part, you know, if it finds something dangerous, what it has to do is it has to stop that particular normal operation. And then you have to fix that particular problem. If it is dangerous, then you have to fix it and then normal operation will go. Right? Similarly, in computers, you have to do a normal program. It can enable an interrupt service routine. That is, using input-output device, we can give information. Right? That is, interrupt services. If you have to execute the data, you have to do the instruction program. That is called as interrupt service. Okay? So, once you have to receive this interrupt service, what it will do is it will stop the current execution of the program and then execute this interrupt service, interrupt information, execute in interrupt instruction, execute panni mucha the kapro, it come back to the normal execution. That is called as interrupt. Right? And it can be carried out during interrupt service routine. Okay. So today what we have seen is we have seen what is the operational concepts of the computer. Okay. And we have seen how the processor and the memory coordinate with each other. What are the registers that is involved and how the instruction is being transferred, how the result is transferred, all these things we have seen. This is very important question in this unit. Okay. Hope you understand the concept. Right? Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video Ongal Kalark Rombo useful Subscribe passionate professor and keep learning. Thank you very much.